problem in starting. Today we are going to see one of the tricks to solve linear equation in two variables. But the trick that we are going to discuss today is only applicable in a particular condition. So we are going to take certain example to uh, apply that trick and in what condition we can apply this trick. So for example you are getting 5x plus 7y equals to 35, 3x plus 14y equals to 70. So we are going to first check the ratio of the coefficient of x, y and constant values here. So if we take the ratio of uh, coefficient of x in both the equation, so here is 5 and here is 3, that is a1 upon a2. So if we take a1 upon a2, it's 5 by 3. And we are going to take the ratio of uh, coefficient of y in both the equation, that is b1 upon b2. So b1 upon b2, that is 7 by 14, that is also equals to 1 by 2. So if we simplify and we are going to take the constant value that is c1 upon c2 c1 upon c2 that is 35 by 70 so that is 1 into 2 that is 1 by 2 so in this equa uh, equations we are getting that a1 upon a2 is not equals to b1 upon b2 and b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2 so b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2 so whenever you get this type of question that the ratio of coefficient of y is equals to constant values but it is not equals to a1 upon a2 so in this type of question you can directly take the value of x as 0 so in this equation the value of x will be 0 so directly you can find out the value of y so what you have to check the condition that the ratio that b1 upon b2 that is the ratio of y coefficient of y is equals to c1 upon c2 and it is not equals to a1 upon a2 so in such type of questions you can directly take the value of x as 0 so so in this case if we take x as 0 so 5 into 0 that is 0 so it will be 7 by equals to 35 so y is 35 by 7 and that is equals to 5 even if you put in the second equation you will get the same value that is 3 into 0 that is 0 so 14y is equals to 70 so y is equals to 70 by 14 so 14 into 1 14 into 5 so y is 5 so here you can directly take the value of x as 0 you will get the value of y so the solution of this equation that x will be equals to 0 and y will be equals to 5 now we will see the next example here it's 4x plus 3y equals to 9 and 7x plus 9y equals to 27. Again we'll take the ratio of coefficient of uh, variable x and y and the constant value. So if you take a uh, ratio of coefficient of x is 4 by 7 and the coefficient of y is 3 by 9 that is equals to 1 by 3 and the ratio of the constant value that is 9 by 27 that is 1 by 3. So again in this example also we are getting that the ratio of coefficient of x is not equals to ratio of the coefficient of y that is b1 upon b2 but b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2. So again in this case when you are getting that a1 upon a2 is not equals to b1 upon b2 but b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2 again you can directly take the value of x as 0 that is in this equation the value of x will be 0 and we can find out the value of y. So what will be the value of y? So 4 into 0 is 0. So 3, uh, it will be 3y equals to 9. So y is 9 by 3. So it is y is equals to 3. Again if you put in the second equation also. So 7 into 0 is 0. So 9 into y equals to 27. So y is equals to 27 by 9. Again you will get 3. So here the solution will be x will be equals to 0 and y is equals to 3. So what we have seen in the first two examples that if the ratio of coefficient of y is equals to ratio of the uh, constant value that is c1 upon c2 so in that case you can directly take the value of x as 0 and you can solve it for y. So you get the solution that x equals to 0, y equals to 5 here and x equals to 0 and y equals to 3. Now we will see the next two examples. 
In this, if you see, uh, again we we'll take the ratios, that is 5 by 20, a1 upon a2, if you see a1 upon a2 is 5 by 20, that is 1 by 4, and b1 upon b2 is equal to 7 by 9, and c1 upon c2 is 20 by 80, that is 1 and 4, that is 1 by 4. So here we are getting that a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 but it is equal to c1 upon c2. That is we are getting the condition that a1 upon a2 is equal to c1 upon c2 it is not equal to b1 upon b2. So that is the ratio of coefficient of x is equal to the ratio of the constant values but not equal to the ratio of the coefficient of y. So in this case you can directly take the value of y as 0. So we will take y as 0. So 7 into 0. 7 into 0 will be 0. So 5x equals to 20. So x is 20 by 5. So that is x equals to 4. Even in the second equation if you took, uh, put y equals to 0. So 9 into 0 0. So 20x equals to 80. So x is equals to 80 by 20. That is also equals to 4. So here the solution will be x will be equals to 4 and y is equals to 0. Now let's see the next example that is 6x plus 3y equals to 1, 30x plus 4y equals to 5. Again if we take the ratio of coefficient of x that is 6 by 30 that is a1 upon a2 1 by 5 it is 1 by 5 and if we take a1 by b2 it will be 3 by 4 and c1 by c2 is 1 by 5. So again we are getting the condition that a1 by a2 is equals to c1 by c2 that is 1 by 5 1 by 5 is not equals to b1 by b2. So again in this case we are going to take directly the value of y as 0. Now if we take y as 0 so it will be 6x 3 into 0 0 equals to 1 so x will be equals to 1 by 6. Here also if we take uh, y as 0, so 4 into 0 is 0, so 30x equals to 5, so 5, so x is equal to 5 by 30 and that is equal to 1 by 6. So the solution here will be that x will be 1 by 6 and y equals to 0. So you can solve this type of question in just few seconds by just checking the uh, particular condition. So when you have to take x as 0 and when you have to take y as 0. So the condition is for x equals to 0 when you can take x equals to 0 when you are getting that b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2 but not equals to a1 upon a2. That is the ratio of coefficient of y is equals to constant value and it is not equals to the ratio of coefficient of x. In that case you can take x as directly 0, you can get the y value that will be the solution that x equals to 0 and y whatever you are getting the values of y. And uh, for taking y as 0, that is y as 0 directly, for that the condition should be a1 upon a2 should be equals to c1 upon c2 but not equals to b1 upon b2. So if you get such type of uh, condition in that directly you can put the y as 0. So this is how you can solve the linear equation where you are getting such type of condition. So it is very helpful in competitive examination. You cannot use this in uh, school level examination because there you have to use certain method that is substitution elimination method. Uh, but uh, the MCQs test, in MCQ test or in competitive examination you can use such type of tricks and it will be very helpful for you to save time. Hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you.